guys. Well, here's some more Stardew. As I said, uh, it's going to go ahead and start up a series. Uh, let's go ahead and set some options here. We'll get our menu to tab. That's really useful. Okay. Got some parsnip seeds. Yep, yep, yep. Alright, parsnip. Meet the people. Cultivate and harvest parsnip. Let's go ahead and get our tools in order here. There we go. That'll make life a lot easier. Now what I'm going to do is I simply, I think I'm going to just clear to the left over here. Just right in here for our first little crops. I'm going to do my animals and stuff down here in front of the house. Should make it a little easier to get to them and such. Yeah, so Stardew Valley guys, this game is... Man, it's got all my attention right now. I've got to say, it's, it's one of the best titles I've played in a long, long time. So, um, I'm very happy that someone went through all the effort to make such a great game here. But I figured, you know, I could show you a little bit, and I've got some tips and tricks here or there that'll probably help out. I got to my second year and completed it. Had the grandpa visit and everything, so... That was really cool. I ended up getting uh, 7 out of 13, so There's a couple little things I could work on, but I'm not going to really care about getting that perfect. I'm just going to enjoy the game and have some fun with it. So I want to do a, a 9 by 9 grid here. 10, 11, 12, 13, 14. 15. Now if you have these planted in 9 by 9 like this, it has a chance of growing a, a really big special plant. You can actually harvest with the axe and well, it gives you almost double to triple the amount that you put in. So over regular harvest, the, the jumbo crops are really, really cool. I'll try to get one to spawn this place so you know you guys can see it and enjoy it too so that's all all we have today uh, we don't have a chest yet we'll need to build one of those so it's 50 wood so this first day it's mainly uh, get the area cleaned up a little bit uh, get some room to work with basically and we can always come back at night when we have some excess energy and come and take out the rest of this tree mess and everything so just need enough wood to get started here. There we go. That should be plenty for a chest. Most important thing right here. Um, actually, I'm going to collect enough wood so we can build two. I'm going to have one inside the home as well. As you can see, with your land being so filled up with junk in the beginning, my goodness. It is a lot of work to get it cleared off, but all the resources and everything together, I mean, you're going to have wood coming out of your butt by the time you get done clearing all this. So that's really good. It can give you a, a nice little jump on getting the, the coop and everything constructed, so that's always a, a nice help later on. Looks like we're going to have to do one more tree here to... Get another 50 going. I'm not even sure if I'll be able to get 24 wood out of this. As you can see, my energy is already gone, so we have to be very, very careful with what we do. Oh man, see that's what happens. So when you you go over the line, you get sluggish, and you'll see when I go to sleep and I wake back up, it's actually going to affect my energy bar quite negatively. That was dumb of me. I should have stopped when it said it was getting exerted, but... So we'll go ahead and sleep here. And checking the TV is really helpful. It's going to rain tomorrow, so that's good. We won't have to water crops. And we have some special happy spirits here today, so... That's another big, big plus. I'm just going to put this first chest by the door. There we go, we got some mail today too. 
Just got back from fishing trip. You should come down to the beach sometime. I've got something for you. My fishing pole. So all that extra energy that we'll have after, you know, going through and taking care of business for the day, we'll go ahead and use that excess for uh, fishing. It's a great source of revenue early on, and you can get the sashimi recipe, and it makes a great gift. Lots of people like sashimi. Okay, so those are all watered up. I'm going to go ahead and get enough for the, the chest one here, and then we'll go see Willie. He's just down on the beach. There we go. So, I'll ray off to a good start here. Let's go ahead and make another chest. That one's going to go inside. And while we're at it, let's just pretty up the place a little bit. We'll put a, a, go, a good path coming right through here. There we go. Actually, we can probably finish her off. Oh, we only got two more. That's okay. Bam. Close enough. <laughs> now let's go to Willy, get our fishing pole, and then at least that way we can have, you know, some sort of means to gain money while we're waiting for these first crops to initially start. I'll show you my best tips and tricks for the, the fishing. Uh, the only one I haven't caught is the very last one, the legend. And you basically, you have to catch every fish up until that point for him to even spawn. So as we're coming across, people will just say, hey, what's up? Ah, Shane's, he's kind of a jerk. Later on, you find out he's, he's had a hard life growing up, so. Most of these characters seem to have their own little issues and problems. And here's our, our Willy cut scene, which is always really cool to come through here and watch these things. And there's an actual skip button down in the bottom, but we're going to let these play through. Ahoy there, son. But there was a newcomer in town. Good to finally meet you. Cool. Willie's one of my favorite characters. I'm still trying to unwind a, from a month out on the salty seas. It was a big haul. I sold a lot of good fish. Finally saved enough to buy me a new rod. Woot. So you get his old bamboo one. Here's your old fishing rod. It's important to me. The art of fishing stays alive. And hey... Maybe you'll buy something from the shop once in a while. I will. Uh, mainly the trap bobbers. Those are some of the best you can receive. Bamboo pole. Yeah, baby. Thank you, Will. Good water here in the valley. All kinds of fish. Oh, yeah. My shop's back open now. So come by if you need supplies. Also, buy anything you catch. If it smells, it sells. Heh <laughs> That's what my old pappy used to say, anyway. Dirty, dirty old pappy. <laughs> I like how there's like some drug use too. They're, they're smoking and everything. It's pretty neat. So we can go ahead and click on him and talk to him again. Nice to see some folks moving in the valley. It's not very common these days. Okay. Good enough, Willie. Good enough. As you can see just from the watering and, and all that regular stuff. Man, and no inventory to boot. Whew. I forgot this game kind of has a, a cruel way of making you run out of stuff. Um, tell the truth, this daffodil, I was just going to gift it. I'd rather take these clams. We can make more money off of it. In the first backpack, once we get it collected, good, it was a regular one. Once we get the first backpack collected, all this will become a lot, lot easier. Initially, you start out this game very weak. You don't have any of your tools. You don't have your stamina built. But all that's going to be solved. And here's Vincent, this little punk. Took me forever to figure out what he likes. And it turns out one of his loved items is sashimi. So, you make that with one fish. You get the recipe. I believe Willie does give you that recipe after you fish enough. It might be in the cooking show, though. I didn't really get into the cooking too much when I first started playing. I just kind of wanted to get into it and see what all could be done. And it turns out a lot can be done. So, 
make some quick money here. Bam, seashells. They're going directly in there. And this chest here, actually, we're going to move it over one. All right, here. Yeah. And there's an awesome little town creator that I found. And I'm going to go ahead and I'll put that link down there in the description for you guys. It's really cool. It lets you go through and basically set up your town or your, your farm before you even get there. So you can have a nice game plan rolling. I've seen some cool designs online. Uh, people, they like to put the all wood flooring and things like that. Looks real cool, but I kind of like it a little more open and dirty myself. It's more down to earth, if you know what I mean. So we'll just kind of do some basic resource start here. And we're not going to have much money yet. But once we start planting other crops, we're going to have a nice bumper for the season. As you can see with my energy being so weak. The scythe, though, bam, completely free. Now, uh, a big trick. I messed up the first time I played. But uh, these grass patches here, uh, if you actually wait until you can build the silo, you can get hay when you collect those. So that's really good. So let's let's try not to waste this day like we did yesterday. We can go around and just kind of clear out these small weeds and stuff. We can't break any more rocks or hit anything with the axe. You saw what happened. It was bad, but this scythe, you can just swing it and swing it and swing it. So we'll do a quick little clean up here. Or as much as we can get or want to get. We'll have plenty of time to clear all this, so it's no worry. We just need to have a good space for our first basic crops. And then once we get the, the greenhouse going in like Flint, man, you'll have all the resources. You can grow anything all season, so blueberry the hell out of it. <laughs> I guess cranberry's pulling a, a good revenue as well. My other character, I have a... Uh, I'm getting all ancient food in there. It's, uh kind of hard to come by. You, you start with one seed and basically have to use the seed maker to produce your whole field of it. But they're really, really costly. Uh, you can get like 750 or something for a good one, if I remember correct. I mean, it's quite a bit, so turning 10 of those puppies, you got 7 grand. So you just gotta keep building and, and let time happen. This is one of those games where you can be stressed about the best rating and all that, but it's really, if you go through and play it and enjoy it and listen to everyone's conversation and stories, and it's really fun. They each have their own individual characteristics, uh, their own likes, personalities, where they go, where they visit, and there's, you know, some little jokes here or there that's real fun. Uh, for instance, like the mayor, at one point you uh, have to find his shorts and, well... I'll explain that when we get there. It's a really good cutscene. Okay, so basically your your days will last until uh, 12 p.m. is your cutoff. Anything past that, you wake up with less energy. So you want to be in your bed at 12 or before. Otherwise, you're going to get a, a little penalty to your, your stamina and energy when you wake up. And for you guys that haven't happened to see this game yet, I know it's it's everywhere right now. It's super, super popular. Uh, I was playing day one, and it was kind of... There weren't a lot of people that knew what it was, but as you can tell, it's, it's completely Harvest Moon. I mean, there are some games out there that just have a formula. And I feel bad about the Harvest Moon series. They... They really haven't made a, a really nice quality one in a while, so when this came out, I knew I had to have it. It was just one of those things where I've already put, you know, 90 hours into this game <laughs> just on my other characters, so it gets to the point where you just want to keep grinding day by day by day. Uh, breaking these rocks is awesome. You have to have a steel axe for it, or a pickaxe. It's going to take a while, though, to get the iron for it. Uh, first of all, we're going to start off by getting copper and stuff. That's going to come in the mines. They're going to open up here in a couple days. And when that boulder's clear, we'll go check it out. You really don't have to meet everyone. It, I mean, as long as the quest doesn't have a little clock here, 
you can take as long as you want to complete them. Um, when you get the missions from the board outside of the, the shop there in town, those are timed missions. So they'll usually give you two to three days, depending on, on what you need to do. Um, I know some of the Adventure Guild stuff, like uh, Battling Slimes, that actually you'll usually get an extra day because you've got to go into the mines and sometimes the slimes just whoop you and that's it for the day. If you don't have food to recoup your health or energy, you just can't proceed in the mines any farther. So it's one of those things too where this game is the longer you play it, the the more likely you are to get the items you need. And you know, once you have your upgrades, it becomes a whole lot easier. So we're doing pretty good. We're not going to try to take out any of that tall grass if we can help it. Just these regular standard weeds for now will do. There we go. We're going to get lots of fiber for it too. You can use fiber for a couple of the little crafting recipes. Not that useful, but it's something. So let's go in here and uh, let's put our chest down. Firstly though, I'm going to start moving some of this stuff around if I can. So basically, got to set that back down, it looks like. Yep, you have to have it in your inventory. We're just going to move this right down here, kind of out of the way. Move the chair as well. And if you right click, you can twist these around. Actually, I bet we could do a better job. We'll just snuggle it up. There we go. <laughs> good, good, good. And sit in the bowl. There we go. Perfect. <laughs> Let's get our chest out here. Okay. Totally missed. Thanks a lot. You can just pick those right back up with your pick. Good thing that didn't make me exhausted. And right now I'm going to keep ores and stuff in here. So, uh, Everything like woodworthy, fiber, things that we pick up foraging basically go in here. And then let's see, I'm trying to think of what else we could possibly do tonight. It's already 740, so in town, everyone's either at the bar, that's a great place to meet everyone. But I think we're just going to go ahead and sleep it off and I think that's going to do it for the first episode here, guys. We've got our foraging up. Ba-bam. That's just from chopping trees. So we can make the field snack and the wild seed. So, always good. The seasonal seeds come in handy when you're trying to complete the bundles. So we got 150 bucks from our clams, too. So, not too bad. I'm not going to complain about that. And here's our first day of rain, so... Thank you guys. Uh, I'll probably continue. I might break it down where I do multiple days and kind of show you the progress, but if you want to watch it all, go ahead and leave a comment down there and I'll keep plugging away day by day. You'll get to see everything if you want. Keep finding cool stuff, but my backpack is full. Does that sound like you? So for five grand, we can get that 24 slot pack. That's going to be our first goal. It's going to make our life just so, so much easier. But thanks again, guys. Again, Stardew Valley. If you haven't checked it out yet, go check it out. It's definitely worth a playthrough. But otherwise, you can always come here and watch or join one of the many other people that stream it. So have fun, guys.